Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and everybody keeps asking me for a city update and my city is totally trashed after Hurricane Katrina came through and ripped it all apart. So Angelville is in a complete disarray. But never fear, we will be rebuilding and we are rebuilding quickly. Uh, I have a few of my projects going on over here and as you can see over there I have the convention center in full swing. Uh, hopefully it will be getting finished very soon as I'm extremely excited to get that open for business to start accepting people's uh, builds so I can put them on display. What I am currently doing, and this is part of the reason I'm going ahead and making this video because my city is in a complete disaster zone, <laughs> but uh, what I'm looking at doing is this entire area of the table, which I've already planned on and I planned on this before, was making it all strictly my builds. The thing that I'm trying to do now, I'm still going to try and keep it all my builds, but I'm trying to make it a major metropolis, uh, or major, make it look like a major metropolis with lots of tall buildings and I'm gonna make it very congested in this particular area. And I have a few ideas I'm working on. Uh, hopefully if they're successful, I'll be sharing them with you all soon. But my biggest reason for making this video is I wanted everybody to see the current state of the table. So <laughs> in my next actual city update, once I start getting some buildings back in place in an area and, and located the way that I'm hoping and want them to be, you'll see some great changes. Uh, some of the things I wanted to touch on, when I had initially pulled everything off the table, I had found, because uh, I, I actually when I was starting to put some of the stuff back on the table, I should say, I had found that right in here I was having a big problem with nothing being level. So I've actually gone through and re-leveled my table. As a matter of fact, my level is still sitting over there on the table. Uh, trying to get that rebalanced and re readjusted so that way when I do start placing the buildings, everything will look a lot nicer. Um, I'm also, instead of always doing, because originally how I had everything set up, all the streets ran straight through there and then it ran straight through here. And I'm changing that up because I want it to be as I'm walking along and I'm looking over there that the cities aren't always, you know, the streets aren't always in perfect line. So I'm gonna have uh, the streets kind of jog off and do different directions, different patterns. I'm looking at uh, somebody I follow on uh, Instagram and on YouTube, Eraser Mice, uh, came up with a really cool idea recently. And what he did is all his roads that he had on his table were on a 45 degree angle. And I really loved that. So what I'm planning on doing at some portion of this part of the city, I plan on running a 45 degree angle roadway and uh, hopefully it turns out the way that I have it because the way that he was doing it, he's just using the road plates and turning them. Um, I actually have an idea for making a, might as well say a bricked road uh, and I'm going to run it on a 45 and I'm going to have a building that's on a 45 degree angle and so on and so forth to kind of give things a little bit of a change up and give it a little different appear of appearance as I don't want everything to be perfectly square, which a lot of it kind of currently is. Something else, uh, just to kind of give some news on what I got going on, as you'll notice, the McDonald's was wiped, or the Taco Bell <laughs> was wiped out. And what it is, it's not wiped out. Uh, my son is currently working on making directions for a lot of the buildings that I have. The uh, first building that he made was the McDonald's, and he actually did a really good job on that. The second building that he's working on is this Taco Bell. Uh, and what my plans are for that is hopefully here in the upcoming soon future, for any of those that are interested in my buildings, I'm hoping I will be able to sell some uh, studio files and directions for that on BrickLink. And the next big project, which I'm talking with somebody right now that already made directions or made a uh, LDD file of the building anyway, is my train station. So I'm hoping that I will have directions up for sale for that as well for anybody that's interested in buying that also. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of a quick touch. That's kind of my city update. Like I said, Hurricane Katrina wiped her out. Angel Villa is hard under construction to get rebuilt and back underway and hopefully she will be up and running here very soon. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below and we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.